Alright, welcome back to the channel and in today's exciting tutorial I want to show you how to remove skin imperfections in Affinity Photo. Now Affinity Photo makes this ridiculously easy to do and you can see that the uh, results actually look very very amazing. So if I zoom in you can see that we have got some nice skin texture left. There's some a little few blemishes left, but if we want to, we can remove everything. However, I like to keep it more natural. So this is the before and this is the after. All right, let me show you how this is done because it's gonna blow your mind. So let's delete this layer for now because we're not gonna need it. And we've got our portrait layer, let's say right over here. Now I want to work non-destructive and I want to be able to see the before and after. So I'm gonna create a duplicate of this portrait red layer and the second uh, the first layer I'm gonna hide for now now what we want to do is we want to go to the menu bar right here you want to go to filters and you want to create a frequency separation layer now what this does this basically splits our layer in two layers one layer containing the texture and one layer containing the tones and the colors uh, of the skin let's say now on the left side you will see the texture soon and on the right side you will see our color layer. So let's increase the radius for now because we want to have more texture on the left side and we want to blur the, left, uh, the right side more and the right side is our low frequency and the left side is the high frequency. And we want to make sure that our skin is nice and smooth. So you don't want any texture on the right side, you just want the color basically and on the left side you want to keep the texture. So this looks about fine, maybe we can crank it up a little bit more. So something like this looks fine and let's hit apply for now. Now in our layers panel you can see that Affinity Photo did the job that I just mentioned. It split our layer into two layers and that is also why I made a duplicate. So now we've got a low frequency which is this one right over here. So this is just the colors basically and we've got a high frequency right over here and that is um, the texture and a bit of color as you can see. Now this is going to contain two steps. So first we're going to uh, address the color and the skin tones let's say and then we're going to address the texture. By the way this video was brought to you by the ultimate brush bundle. 100 plus realistic brushes that make photo manipulation fun for everyone. Add northern lights, clouds, stars, fireworks, smokes, lightning and so much more to your photos in just a click. Now 66% off. Link in the description. So first we want to work in our low frequency layer and what I do to isolate these layers is I hold alt and then I click on the thumbnail and now you can see that we have um, a few of the isolated low frequency layer. Now in this view you can see very clearly where the skin imperfections are so that is this right red spot right here this red spot this one etc etc so how do i address these things you want to go to your healing tools and you want to either use the patch tool um, or you can use the impainting brush tool and i find the impainting brush tool the easiest for um, this method let's say because affinity photo actually does the most work itself so you want to go uh, make sure the brush settings are right so you want to set the opacity to 100 the flow to 100 and the hardness to zero because we don't want any hard edges all right now let's start with this spot right here uh, we increase the the brush size a little bit and what you want to do is simply brush over the spot and then uh, let go and affinity photo will fill in the color and as you can see it removed the red blemish so let's do that again right over here and affinity photo did the same now it didn't do a perfect job as you can see so if we want to make a, a correction just brush over it again until you're happy with the end result so like this it looks fine let's move up here remove this blemish right here and you basically want to do this for all of the red spots on your picture now this one might be tricky because it's uh, quite a severe red uh, stain let's say or spot so we might want to um, add a little more fine tuning here but in the end affinity photo will do a very nice job in matching the colors with the surroundings let's say also, you don't want to go too crazy because we want to keep some of the blemishes and we want to keep some of the skin texture, of course, because otherwise she looks like some fake person or a doll, which is something we don't really want. So don't go too crazy, but make sure you get the results that you like. All right, this starts to look pretty decent already. And as mentioned before, we are now only focusing on the skin color. So we're not focusing on the skin texture yet. So this looks pretty good. There are some 
spot right here. There's some spot right here. And if you want to very specifically target one area, um, you can use the patch tool and the patch tool work like this, uh, works like this. So let's say this spot right over here, you can make a selection around the spot and then you can hover somewhere else uh, and that is gonna be the destination. Um, sorry, that is going to be the source. This is going to be the destination. So now if I click right here, you can see it actually confirmed. And then I click again and now the spot is gone. And I can do the same right over here for this one. Just click twice somewhere else and the spot is gone. So this is quite a good technique if you want to um, cover a bigger area, let's say like this. Something like so. Mm, double click right here. And that looks about fine to me. Well, there's one spot right here, so let's also tackle that one. So I'm gonna use my in-painting brush again, uh, reduce the size and just brush over it once and maybe twice. And I think that looks about fine to me. So let's zoom out and yeah, this looks pretty good. Now to enable our normal view, so to not isolate our low frequency layer, we just click on another layer and yeah, that is basically it. So let's drag our portrait layer above. Let's see the before. So this was the before and this is the after and it already looks so much better. Now we want to tackle the skin texture, let's say. So if we zoom in right here, you can see that we've got some skin imperfections right here and right here as well. And as we can see, the skin color is super nice and smooth, but the skin texture is still not perfect. So now we're gonna tackle this um, layer and i did the same i just click alt i hold alt and then i click on the high frequency layer and this basically isolates the layer and now i can do the same thing so i can use my uh, in painting brush tool to brush over this area and you can see that affinity photo removes the imperfection and actually samples texture from the outside so that is why this method is so powerful you separate the colors and the tones from the texture so in the end result you will see that we still have the texture right where it's supposed to be um, but yeah without all the flaws and the blemishes let's say and the imperfections so let's do that for every single spot that we can find on this image and some areas need a little bit of yeah a little bit extra care let's say so maybe here right here i see some spot i think this one is a mole we can check it on the portrait this looks like a mole um here's some some red blemish so i can go back into my frequency separation and just brush over this area all right, the blemish is gone. And this one I want to tackle, I think it is visible right here. So let's remove it by using our impending brush tool. And there we go. What about this here? All right, let's zoom out. And we still see some imperfections right here. So let's also tackle these. And this one. All right, let's zoom out and let's see the before. So this was the before and this is the after. And you can see we've got an amazing end result. If we zoom in, you can still see we've got all the nice skin texture going on. We even got some natural blemishes, but all the imperfections and the skin, the flaws in the skin, they are gone. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you're gonna retouch like a pro. See you in the next one. Cheers.